man, I remember seeing this for the first time. The 3D glory of all of our favorite Pokemon. Hello family, my name is Chris, I am your home gamer dad, and today I'll be playing a game that takes me back. This one is Pokemon Stadium, released for the Nintendo 64 back in 2000 in America, and I think 1999 in Japan. This was fantastic at the time because you're seeing all of your favorite Pokemon that you played when you were playing red, blue, yellow uh, in 3D glory. It was amazing at the time. Wow, okay. <laughs> uh, no game packs on anything, yeah. So the cool thing about Pokemon Stadium was its interactivity between the Game Boy games and the actual cartridge itself on the N64 because it had a uh, transfer pack to it that you could send all your Pokemon over uh, from the Game Boy to here. I may not have had an N64, but my sister did, so this is how I ended up playing this game quite often. I was huge into Pokemon, at least Gen 1. I, I'm a huge Gen 1-er. Red, blue, yellow, I played to the ground. And in all honesty, I didn't play another Pokemon after that until Pearl. Yeah, I'm sorry, I missed Gold and Silver, I apologize. Uh, but at least with this, I'll be able to have fun and be able to battle with some of the classics that I know I had on my team. Let's just jump into the stadium and check this out. So we got our... So, the, they're Magnemites because they're not snapped together as a Magneton, because that's really all it is. Um, all right, so we got the stadium there. Uh, play your Game Boy Pokemon here. Can't do that. Uh, the, so I'm playing this on the Switch. This is probably why it's a much bigger video than you're used to on my other uh, versions of uh, That Takes Me Back. Um, I think there's a way to connect, or there will be a way to connect or something. I, I, I forget. You guys will be able to let me know down in the comments below uh, if you can connect uh, Pokemon from what you've played on the Switch to here. Before right now, I don't think there's really anything you can do. Uh, battle with friends, unwind battles. This, I think, is like mini games, which is always a lot of fun. Hall of Fame winners. Ah, Professor Oak, let's learn about the wonderful world of Pokemon. Uh, check your Pokedex, organized trade, yada, yada, yada. Gym leader. So we're just going to go into the stadium itself. And we're just going to have some fun battles for the heck of it. Uh, what do we got? Prime Cup, Pika Cup, uh, Petit Cup, and Poke Cup, the official Pokemon League tournament. Why don't we just do this? I think that'll be fun. Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, yeah, just do whatever. I mean, this, this isn't going to be too much. Um, I'm only going to do a few battles here and there. Uh, rentals only, please, because I don't have anything to transfer over. And we can just make our team as we go along. Now, this is going to be the original 151 back in the day. Uh, I, I think it goes to 151. Do I get Mew? No, I don't. No, I do not. So, <laughs> we don't even get Mew too. Who's supposed to go right there? Uh, but we do get the legendary uh, birds right here, Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno. So Uno, Dos, Trace, as uh, some of you may realize. Gotta love the naming structure on these. Uh, ba -da -da, all hail the Omastar. Um, let's see. Uh, and then, of course, my Eevee and the original Evolutions, Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon. Uh, I'm a huge Eevee fan. I love Eevee by itself. Eevee as a uh, Pokemon is great. And I still believe that there should have an actual normal evolution for it, in addition to all the other types that it doesn't have. Uh, let me look through these. I'm going to pick out my team, and then we'll go from there. All right, here's my team. Alakazam, Hitmonchan, Amastar, Snorlax, Rapidash, and Raichu. I always had a Snorlax, because uh, I just think they're absolutely amazing. And then Alakazam, I normally would do uh, Kadabra, uh, unless I was able to trade it to get that Alakazam. But those two were always ones that I wanted uh, or I usually have on my team. Hitmochan is kind of here and there. Um, I like him because he has the elemental punches, and I think that'd be really cool with this. Uh, all hail Amistar just because. Uh, I like Raichu over uh, Pikachu, and I love, oh man, when I played Sun and Moon, the uh, Alolan uh, Raichu, fantastic. I would wish that was now, but uh, I mean, you, you can find it later in 3D, but uh, I love that version, but Raichu is awesome. And I needed a fire type Pokemon, and honestly, out of the ones that are here, I wanted Rapidash. So we'll take those into the stadium and uh, see what we can do about battling these trainers. I didn't want to do the standard uh, Venusaur. What is it? Um, is this okay? Uh, bu, bu, bu. So what do we got? Ran Nito, Ran Nito, okay. Monly Hit, Chop Mock, oh, Key Man. <laughs> you see what they're doing with those names, right? That's really strange. 
Uh, all right, so I get to take three in with me. Who do I want to take? Well, obviously, Alakazam comes first. Um, doo -doo -doo. Let's take Alakazam, Snorlax, Hitmonchan. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see what the button mappings were on my controller before I went into this. Uh, but yeah, I didn't really want to do uh, Charizard, Blastoise, and... Uh, Venusaur. I, they're awesome. They were usually almost always on my team. This is gonna be insane. Are you kidding me? Um, wait, uh, check? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. So now we get to choose. What so these are the attacks that I have right now for my Alakazam. Uh, this is what the game gives me. So we're just gonna side beam this thing to death. <laughs> See, yeah, this, this is gonna last long at all. Even though they're all level 50, this is a still, uh, a very low level Pokemon and down you go also I don't trust in terms of like what uh, moves the computer is going to give my Pokemon uh, as compared to what I would normally want to give them so now we go against Kansas E here uh, to so we are definitely going to battle and uh, let's do a try attack just because it's switching up a little bit the fun thing about G1 uh, Pokemon is that there was, I believe, no special stat. So you did, or special defense stat or whatever. So Psychic Pokemon in the original, uh, like red, blue, and yellow, or green if you were in Japan, were like completely broken. We'll just try attack again. Uh, because there was nothing that could stop them from their super powerful psychic attacks. And it was insane. Oh, come on. Really? Used acid. <sighs> All right, Alakazam, let's get you out of here. We'll, we're we're going to swap you out with somebody. At least you didn't get poisoned, so that's good. Um, let's go. Let's go, um, Chan. Come on. Switch it out. So you come on back. We'll put in Chan, and I can show you what he does. Yeah, that's right. Go punch, 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 punch. Kansas uses bite. Yeah, it's a hit. Ah, the announcer on this also was amazing. So, so extreme. Uh, submission, strength, thunder punch, and ice punch. So we're just gonna submit, make this snake submit. Whoa! Not very effective, but down he goes anyway. What, because he's poison type? Fighting doesn't do good against poison type? I'm sure a lot of you out there probably are yelling at me for using that, but he had five, five health left. Like, come on. Oh, it's Ren Nidos. All right, what are we doing? Here we go. Let's do uh, let's do an ice punch, frozen shot. And a lot of these I'm just doing just to do. Ah, I didn't really do that much. I wonder if we would have the ability to freeze it. Is that what it was freeze in the original Pokemon? I know that there were some um, status elements that did not uh, start in G1, that they didn't come until much later. Thunder Punch. We'll probably just punch this thing to death until it finally finishes off. Now would probably be the time to use Submission because it's a normal type, right? So that should actually do the extra damage. He doesn't gain his Poison type stat, or does he get a Poison type? Wow, it's been that long, I don't even remember. Let's find out. Submission! Nope, not very effective, but it's still killed it in one shot. Like, come on. Down you go. Hurrah! Take a bow, Chan. All right, perfect. So they all went down. Perfect score. Fainted, 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 win. I got an extra continue. Hurrah! Boulder badge. Let us continue. And now we're on to the battle number two. And what do you have? Uh, some plant and electric type. All right, so Amistar probably will not be good to have on this. Um, let's go, let's go Rapidash. We'll be the first one thrown out. Um, and then we'll do Snorlax and Raichu isn't gonna help at all. Neither is Amistar. Um, Chan again. Yeah, we go, that'll work. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Begin round Yay. Perfect. Excellent. Throw out whatever plants you have. <laughs> little, little vine thing is going to get um, uh, fire spin. Sure. Because then I'll just fire spin it and just stomp it to death. Here's the first move. 
I mean, like, the attack missed? Oh, come on. Are you serious? What was that about? Not very effective in a critical hit. Ah, oh, I don't want to use a fire blast. Ah, fine. Fine, fire blast. Fire bl What? What? How is this missing? Are you kidding me? I have a giant flaming nightmare horse and I can't hit it. I can't hit a little bean sprout. Whatever this Stroutas is. Sproutus? Sproutus? There we are, finally. Okay, so now you're engulfed in flames that should uh, knock you down every turn and I'm just gonna take my moves and beat you with them. But again, back in the day when this first came out, it's like, oh my God, look at all this. This is so awesome. Look at the Pokemon that I played. I'm used to them being in small little 2D sprites and now we have these big 3D guys here. Did I lose my attack because he swapped or did I miss? I'm gonna toxic this uh, little Pika jerk. Which is also weird to think that my Rapidash has a poison to it. So I have a uh, seismic toss, what? What are you teaching your Pokemon? Wow. It hurt by poison. I don't think this is the type of poison though that'll um, get stronger and stronger as the battle goes on. Uh, I forget what type of poison that might be, but uh, in the later ones, it's like you would poison, it would do a little bit of damage and then it would do a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more as uh, time went on. So I stomp your face. Are you, do you still have a fire spin? I guess not. This is not working out as well as I thought it was going to. There we go. Can we can we please beat this thing? Thank you. Finally. Down and out. Um, let's see. I'm surprised it's not asking me if I want to switch. Ooh, Volt Face. Alright, so we got you. Do I want to just keep... You know what? Whatever. We'll, we'll use Fire Blast. It's a strong technique. Uh, Rapidash has a much higher speed than all of his Pokemon, so if I can just get a nice shot in here and there. Um, whoa! Nice! Uh, Rapidash should be able to take them all out. Oh, you're gonna explode! Ow! Alright, well. Bye, Rapid. <laughs> yeah, whoops. Well, I know that all he has left is a Pikachu. So, uh, who do I want to put out? Do I want to put out? Let's put out Snorlax. Let's put out Snorlax. Uh, here we go. Hi. And Pika Face. Awesome. <laughs> you just, you just chill there, Snorri. Uh, Mega Kick, Psychic, or Mega Kick, Rest, Rock Slide, and Metro. All right, Rock Slide it is. And Pikachu is still poison. Ooh, a thunder! Whoa! It missed! What? This, this is so weird. I've never had this many attacks miss, even when I was playing, like, Pokemon normally. There you go. There you go. He stands up to do an attack and then back to sleep. Um, Mega Kick. Seismic, how? How is this even possible? There's no way you could pick up a Snorlax, you little Pikachu. I could actually probably just do nothing and uh, Pikachu will uh, go down. Oh, if I keep missing, it pretty much equal to nothing as well. Try that again. Another seismic toss, which is completely unrealistic for a Pikachu to do that to a Snorlax. You have two! Two health, come on! Can you just kick him already? Thank you, critical hit, yeah. Critical two hit damage. Oh, he looks so sad. <laughs> what, I was like, what are we looking at? Fantastic, we only lost Rapidash, which is all right, but we still win and that's what matters. Good, and we get the next badge, so let's keep going. Battle three, he has uh, Drowsy, Gasling, a uh, Gasling, Gasly, Drowsy, Gastly, Hitmonchan. Like, come on, 
Snorlax, Raichu, and Omastar. See how we can do about getting these guys some screen time. I mean, I'm throwing out Snorlax first, just for the heck of it, because, you know, he's big pillow guy right here going up against. Amachoke, oh boy, fighting types. I know there's a lot of fighting types here, but I think I should be able to... Actually, I should have brought Alakazam, because his psychic abilities would have been able to uh, knock out these fighting types, no problem. Oh, one hit KO! Ouch! Oh no! Oh, Snorlax! Oh! <laughs> uh, that didn't work out as well as I thought it was going to. Uh, I'm a star. Let's go. Which, oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, it may not be a good thing either, because aren't these. Uh, isn't this a water rock type? And Machoke being a fighting type will probably beat the ever living crud out of it. Hydro Pump. Let's see if I can get a, a move off before it does anything. What now? Oh, nope. If I miss, that's not going to matter. An Aura Beam, eh? It's not very effective, even though my attack fell. Doesn't matter. I use special attacks. So he's using Metronome. So it's just random things that is going to hit me. Can you please hit him with the Hydro Pump? I, I want to see some damage here. Come on. There you go. Whoa, critical hit. Go, 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 go. Yes. You ma choke. You gotta have that uh, space there because that's what the line is supposed to be. Or is it Madash Choke? Kladash Fairy. That's your name, Kladash Fairy. Next, let's do submission. Because remember, at this point, Clefairy is not a, uh, a fairy type because that did not exist yet in uh, the Pokemon world. So I think it's just considered normal type. What are you doing? You're using... Wow, this thing has all metronome abilities, so it's just... It's just random things. I don't even know if that's going to really work too well. Um, what, what was that? Was that physical defense that she put up? Or he, Clefairy put up? She? He? <laughs> doesn't matter. Down you go. Ah, Amistar. Oh, praise the Amistar. Eldritch horror of uh, Pokemon. All right, do we just do we just keep going with uh, Hydro Pump and call it a day, or do we do a Spike Cannon? Let's do a Spike Cannon. The commands are issued. And strike! Pew! What now? One, two, three! Boom! 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 Hit three times. I uh, didn't really do as much damage as I thought it was going to. Uh oh! Uh oh! That's gonna be bad. Uh oh! Oh, the weird nose thing is flipping, and we're asleep. Oh joy! So you're probably going to do Dream Eater. So why don't we just swap out for a Raichu? So you're going to come back. We'll throw Raichu into the mix. Yeah, that's what I thought. Figure you're going to do Dream Eater, which should have absolutely no effect because Raichu is awake. Yeah, the attack missed. So now we can go ahead and use Thunder. And blast this thing into oblivion. There you go. That's a good one. Nice. And now you're going to do metronome. So what random, you know, aura beam, random, random ability. Ow, ow. We okay? Oh, yeah, that's right. You get back in there, you. Strong, better Pikachu. Uh, Thunder wave. Go. And you're paralyzed, so now you shouldn't be able to do anything, but apparently- Oh no! Oh no! Razor Leaf! Really? Really? That's- Oh no! Oh, ooh! Ooh, boy! That's- uh, Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, let's just- let's just thunder this thing and, and finish this, uh, battle, please. Beautiful! Excellent! Down you go. And there goes the battle. And battle. Boom, done, finished. Win, lose, and done. Now I'm not gonna go through every one of these guys. Uh, you basically saw all of my Pokemon, so uh, 
we're just gonna go pretty much to the beginning and to the end of the rest of these battles throughout the course of this. You get to see what they generally have. You got three water and three ground type in here. Uh, so I have to figure out which ones that I want to take in. I am going to take in Raichu just for the starting one. I uh, will definitely take Alakazam. And uh, I think Hitmonchan's fighting ability should do pretty good here too. So we'll do that. So that's what we'll do. And uh, I'll let you know if anything cool happens. One shot KO for Sheldy here. Done. Super Ice Uppercut from Hitmonchan to knock down the Q-Body? Q-Body? Okay. Wow, it used Surf! Wow, I didn't think it was going to have this ability. No, 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 no! Aw, oh, man, I had a Thunder Punch in the, tri in the chamber <laughs> ready to knock that star, that UD out. Alright, well, let's finish this up with the Raichu. Gerzap! There we are. Down, 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 down. Nice. <laughs> One hit KO from the right shoe. Yeah, awesome. All right, that one's done. I only lost Hitmo Chan there, but that's all right. Not so bad. We got our rainbow badge from this. Halfway there, going for the soul badge next. And what do we got? I think, I think what I'm going to do now is we're just going to go into the selection. So we got another Ghastly, Vulpix, Zubat. What do we got? Ghastly, Vulpix. They, they, they must name them something else or whatever. It's just weird how that's, uh, how that's listed there. All right. So let me pick. Go in and uh, let's take this one down. Second Super Side Beam attack against the Tenta Dash Cool. And down you go in like this weird psychedelic uh, coloring way. Next one it's throwing out is... Whoa! Gas Dash Lee! Uh oh, better get my psychic out of there. Raichu and Gas Dash Lee kept exchanging thunders and nightshade attacks, but Raichu ended up on top, knocking out that floating ball of wood spectral gook and blah. And Zoodash Bat is here. Oh man, that's easy. I'll just thunder this thing because the flying uh, shouldn't be able to handle, a flying type shouldn't be able to handle this much electricity going through it. Come on, one hit KO. That's all this should be. One hit KO, super effective, critical hit, and down. Ah, oh, this is so exciting to be able to play these again, man. There we are. One, two, three, perfect, absolutely made. Got my extra continue. Uh, not that I need it right now, but I still have a bunch of guys in order to, to go through. Soul bad, keep going. Up next, battle six for the Poke Cup. And of course, these get so much harder as you go through more and more battles. Uh, ta 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 ta. Little Growl, Bone Q, Shrew Sand, Mander Dash Chan, and Le Squirt. Le Squirt. <laughs> uh, you need to have better naming computer. Is this Sandshrew going to knock out my Hitmochan? Especially if I do my own recoil. Oh, it dug. Uh-oh. Uh oh, it went dig. And my Hitmonchan only has two health left. So let's uh, swap it out for something else. Omastar, sure. Yes, I know Omastar got a super effective hit against the dig. But Raichu would have taken equally uh, as much damage from it. So I figured I'd just throw him out and use his Hydro Pump in order to take down the Sand Shrew. Poor Hitmochan only has two health left. Oh, jeez. Oh, perfect. Excellent. One Hydro Pump. Little puppy should go down. And down you go. Sit, Fido. Sit. Play dead. Really? A Charmander? All right, well, the... I was worried at first that this battle wasn't going to go my way after that first round, but, uh, yeah, really? You have Dig? Wow, they gave Charmander Dig? Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all, because, uh, 
You know what? Himmler Chan's gonna go in. He's gonna be a meat shield for this dig attack. And then we're gonna put back in Omastar and we're gonna do Hydro Pump. That's the plan. Oh my god, you stop using fire. Finally, you missed! I swear, Manderdash Chan just did like four fire spins in a row and every single one except for that very last one hit. So I had my Hydro Pump, it was faster than me. So it put me in the fire spin, kept me there for two rounds, did it again, kept me there for two rounds and I just couldn't get off the stupid Hydro Blast in order to finally take it down. I mean, technically it could have just kept digging at me and probably would have beat me that way. That's at least what I would have done. But you know, computers do computer things and whatnot. Oh, that was so annoying. That was such a, like, just, just stop doing the fire spin. It's not working. Can't you tell it's not working? Ah, uh, Abrenza, Duenza, Slopenza, Falfenza, Execuenza, and Gotenza, Gogeta? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> ah, okay. How's that? One hit KO to Slopenza? Yep. Frozen Icicle Punch against the group of eggs. This dozen has been cracked. There's a difference in the number of preserved Pokemon. Ouch! Oh man. Alright, back for another thunder attack in order to finish off this battle. Oh, my poor Hitmonchan. This Doduo came out and did a drill peck and just wiped him out in one shot. I had thunder punched him in one shot and wanted to be like, alright, double punch thunder technique, one for each head. But he got fainted before that happened. So Raichu had to come in and uh, take up the slack. Anyway, Volcano Badge earned on to the last badge for this particular tournament. Final battle, here we go. Uh, water, do duo, oh geez, okay, a little bit, a little bit more spread out here than I thought it would be. Um, yeah, we'll do Alakazam, Snorlax, and um, do 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 do, who do I want? Let's go with, I mean, Raichu has been amazing, so yeah, we're gonna keep that, perfect. Pogon over here is confused from my first Psybeam, but nailed me with a really strong uh, Tri-Beam. However, this should knock it down. Oh no, <laughs> he disassembled by Pogon. I just let the cell sell the seal. That's not even trying anymore. Uh, oh, come on! Man, right you? All right, well, well, you're sleeping, so that's fine. You may be fully healed, but uh, you are also water type, my friend, and a thunder attack will knock you down uh, to zero immediately. Pleasant dreams. There we go. That's that's what I wanted to do last round. But if you really want to wait around, then sure. Here we are. Final matchup between my three or two because uh, I lost one and uh, Raichu and Snorlax and we're going against Drani the Dratini. Okay, so why don't we just thunder it? Because that seems to be the uh, the MVP right now of this game. Raichu and its thunder techniques. May not be very effective, but you went down to half health and you're gonna probably paralyze me, aren't you? Yep. It may not attack. Well, I choose for it to attack, so I think you should just attack. Um, yeah, we're just gonna keep going Thunder. Only because, again, it may not be very effective, but it knocked it down. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ooh, a Hyper Beam. Ooh, it missed! Well, look at that swing around. I was actually expecting to miss it as well. Not very effective, but still a very strong attack. Goodbye, you weird little sneeze, uh, sea snake thing whatever. Raichu, you are my MVP for this particular tournament. Thank you so much. Bye, Alakazam, but that's okay. We got the win. Old man got beaten. We get our final badge, the Earth Badge. And hoorah, it's a feather. Wouldn't that be a wind badge? Shouldn't that be like a rock or something? Well, I guess there's a rock badge. I don't know. Whatever. And we got ourselves. Hoorah! Poke Cup. Clear. <laughs> and I'm sure that Pokeball Cup. 
I'm sure that as we go through the rest of them, we'll, um, there'll be different Pokeballs there, the Master Ball and things along that way. I just want to look again. We're, we're not going to do another tournament. I just wanted to see what one is. 50, 55, and it's going to let me, yep, Great Ball, Master Ball, fun, fun, fun. Back up. Back up, back up, back up. So, what's up here? I don't remember a lot of these things, so it's me just kind of looking. Rules. Oh, I can actually click. Oh, okay, so it's just telling me. Enter with six Pokemon. Choose three of the six. No level restriction. Opponent's levels. Uh, no two Pokemon. Asleep or frozen. No self-destruct. Ooh, that's interesting. Open to all Pokemon. That's great. And then what? I can just fight a gym leader? Um, oh, yeah, I see the path there. It goes all the way up to the top. You'll be able to get all your different badges. So you'll be able to see Brock and Misty and all them here. I don't really feel like doing that. If you guys want to see that, you let me know down in the comments below. Uh, if you're curious, if you want me to show more of that. But let's go ahead. It's, it's such a weird animation. <laughs> it's like a GIF. Um, can, can I be a one player? There we are, yeah. Me versus all. Uh, that's too hard. Just because we can. I'm not going to do all of these, but there are just certain ones that are fun. Magic Carp Splash. This one should just be, yeah, make, yeah, jump. Jump. That's all we got to do. We just got to jump. Ready? Jump! Jump! Whoever has the most jumps win! Ah! You gotta give like that uh, height to it. Ah, I'm not gonna be able to do this. I don't have a good... I didn't have a good rhythm at first. Unless somebody slows down. Oh, not bad. Alright, we're doing alright. This is like Mario Party, but like uh, Pokemon-wise. Oh, man, could you imagine how awesome that would be to have like a Pokemon Mario Party actually going around the board and doing games like this? Uh, let's play again. Sure, why not? That was quick. I want to I win that one. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, <laughs> dittos. Oh, nope, because I hit the button late. But if I get a good rhythm going, which it looks like I am, I should be able to do something like this. I don't know if it's a first to a certain number or something like that. Go, Magic Carp, go! Splash away! Oh, man, I am really, really bad. Why are these people doing so much better? Wow, they are doing way better than I am. And now, orange one. Fun. Well, I guess because of the computer, they, they knew how to do it. They know the rules of the game better than I do. Quit. Sushi go round. Why not? Let's check this one out. Uh, press A to eat the sushi. Biggest uh, spender wins. Eat the same kind of sushi in a row for more points. Uh, big, 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 big move and eat. Let's go, Licky. Licky tongue. So I'm the blue one down there. So, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so if I eat that and I run over here. Uh, no, 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 no. Cute. Gotcha. Oh, and there's the same one down over this way. No! My! My red piece. Yum. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright, so it looks like I gotta switch it up a little bit now. Eat the yellow one. And then go over here and eat... Uh, yeah. You know, this is something I always wanted to do, is go to one of these sushi conveyor belt places. Uh, in New Jersey, there's three of them, actually. One not too far off from uh, where I live. And uh, it's, just, it's just something that I would love to be able to do because it seems like a cool, uh, maybe a cool novelty in, in a way, uh, just to sit there and have the conveyor belt go by and grab uh, all the different types of sushi. Plus, uh, in that particular one, if you eat, I want to say, 20 plates, 15 plates, something along that ways, um, then uh, you can actually put the plates into this like uh, machine and you get a fun prize uh, afterwards. They all definitely ate a lot more than I did, but I have a bigger combo. Yes! <laughs> That's what you get for eating uh, the bigger combos of sushi. Yum. Wow, 6,750 Poké Dollars. Which I guess technically isn't that much in a way. Uh, it, it, there's got to be something out there that kind of compares uh, Poké Dollars to real world dollars. Which I'm sure is just yen, but whatever. Uh, Kaflari says, Thundering Dynamo, Snore. We'll do one more. We'll do, we'll do one more. Ding, ding, ding! Uh, rock Harden. Okay, we're gonna move on. Uh, Norwar. Alright, press A. It's all about pressing A. When the pendulum gets to the center red needle to cast it, no sense. Last one awakes. Oh, we're just, we're hypnotizing each other. Okay. So what? It's gonna go here. Ooh. Got it. Oh, I see. As long as I hit A when it's in the center, then, uh, is it going to speed up? Oh, it's speeding up. Who has the better hypnosis? 
Why do I look like I'm falling asleep? There you go, yeah. No, no. Come on, come on. Good, 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 uh, 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 uh. No, don't you fall asleep, you little drowsy. Oh, well, and I am. That's it, I'm down. Uh, go green, go green. Come on, green, go, 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 go. Oh. <laughs> uh, orange wins again. Drowsy. <laughs> and they're all asleep. That's a tie, come on. Uh, it's, this is some weird, weird games. And then, of course, in Pokemon Stadium, too. I think they just get even weirder and whatnot. But I'm going to call it an episode right there. Thank you guys so much for checking out uh, this uh, That Takes Me Back episode where I play Pokemon Stadium. Is this something that you played uh, back in the day? What was your team? Uh, did you transfer in your Pokemon from your Game Boy over to uh, this game and be able to fight them in all oh, glorious 3D amazingness? and just all that other kinds of crazy stuff. I'm sure there's a lot of really cool things to do in this as well, but I think that was enough to uh, make me feel, uh, get the nostalgia out of me and whatnot. So thank you guys again. You've been absolutely amazing. Take care of yourselves and each other. We're family forever, gaming together in the world of Pokemon and everything else. We'll be able to take our journeys becoming the best there ever was and then battling each other with our Pokemon companions. You guys have a good one and I'll see you in the next one.